some of them, they play in the streets near garbage areas because those places are literally big and they get to play there. Being a volunteer or in order to make a change, we, we have to be willing to sacrifice. So he came home one day and um, he said uh, he wanted to do something to help the kids in Egypt. I don't even know what to say right now. It's something I, I when I think about, I feel fulfilled as a person. Because anytime I met the kids on the street, they usually call me coach. When are we going for training? In the northern, I see for Puerto Rico, I mean, I see for Kaloon or like that. I see for with a man who is not 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 with a man تعرف المجتمع المصري أكثر عن سبب وجود هذا العدد الكبير من اللاجئين في مصر. We started this dream 2020, and I met James. He's my brother. He told me about this dream, and I see that, look, this is real. And this kid needs all this, because this is what we want for our kids, for our children, and for the community. And I tell him, okay, James, I'll be a part of this dream. Let's kick it off. And that is how we started. And this is how we start Bayern Activity, 2021. In all this, I see that, the dream is kicking off. Being a volunteer or in order to make a change, we, we have to be willing to sacrifice. We, in order to make a change, we have to be willing to sacrifice time. We have to be willing to sacrifice our resources. We have to be willing to sacrifice our energy because doing this thing is not an easy thing. The, the tax is, is not an easy tax. Waking up in the morning, not being paid, Doing things willingly, with, without requesting anything from anybody, is not an easy thing. So in order to do this, you have to be willing to, 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 to sacrifice a whole lot. Because this sacrification we are making, you know, we, we sacrifice this in order for the youth of tomorrow to have a better future and have a better knowledge in interacting with other youth through sports. My name is James Adebayo. I'm from Nigeria and uh, I used to play as a professional here in Egypt. I, I stopped playing due to injury. I played uh, some couple of clubs in Nigeria and then I moved to Egypt where I played my first club was in Shibin, in Shibin Okum. I played in Shibin and then I undergo uh, a knee surgery. Uh, I had a ligament uh, injury which uh, the Egyptian called a salibi. Then, um, I, then, I recovered from the injury after one year, then I signed in Canel in Swiss. So after Canel, uh, I, I played in uh, Asyut, which is uh, in Tata in Asyut. I went uh, to Oman to play, play in Saham, then I came back to Egypt. I played in Dairut, I played in a couple of clubs, then I went to Lebanon as well. Then I, I noticed that the knee injury still comes back, then I decided to quit to, to go back to school. I went, uh, I took uh, a course in, uh, in sport management, in sport CIS in Cairo University. Came directly after he had injury while playing as a professional football player. So he came home one day and um, he said uh, he wanted to do something to help the kids in Egypt. Like um, we always visit those kids at their school to just pay them visit. We find out that they don't have a playground all these are uh, refugees. And you know, going, moving around in the community, I realized a lot of things, especially with the kids. I saw some kids playing in a very bad pitch. I went to some schools, I realized that most schools don't even have a courtyard in the school premises. And that moved me, uh, that led to this initiative. Anyone that would love to, you know, to be part of this initiative, 
we are open. We have, our, our, as we speak to you now, we have involved over 1,500 kids into sports, in different sports. So, uh, and some people really were coming because they've been wanting to participate. But the only advantage they have is to play football, not any other sport. So we come up with multiple sports in, um, since they don't have the privilege in their school in playing basketball, volleyball, table tennis, law tennis, uh, phone games. So we started coming up with it by using our investment in buying the equipment. I feel fulfilled uh, the fact that uh, we were able to, you know, bring these kids out involve them in sports, you know, nobody is being paid. We are doing this based on the love we have for sports and for the kids, and we are willing to make impact. And uh, we uh, we have been doing this now for over a year. To be honest, it's not easy on our side because we, we spend our resources, we spend our money with guys in the community that, that have that see to uh, me in, in this vision, they're able to work with me. and we were able to sustain it in one way or the other by you know them even putting their personal funds in this and this encouraged me as a person and it keeps me going and this puts me on my face really because uh, at the end of the day we discover talent the kids are active and you know it's this is uh, i i don't even know what to say right now it's something i, I when i think about i feel fulfilled as a person I feel that uh, there should be an equal opportunity for kids growing up to participate in sports, not only football. الهدف الأول المؤسس للأكاديمية حابب يشوف نفسه. في الأطفال لأنه قبل كده كان لاعب كرة لكن ما قدرش يكمل فحب إنه يشوف نفسه في الأخص في الأطفال الأفارقة لأنه بالنسبة للأفارقة والسودانية بصورة خاصة بتكون صعبة أحيانا إنه يلتحقوا ببعض الأكاديميات المصرية الموجودة نسبة للفلوس وكذا فحب إنه يساعد يشوف نفسه بعيد إنتاج نفسه وكذلك يساعد الأطفال إنه يلتحقوا بأكاديمية تساعدهم نكتشف من خلال المواهب the kids you you are coaching or teaching you know they are listening to you once they listen to you or once you have their attention and then you know we can go ahead and have fun play together and you see that everything flows like this بعد ما قالوا لنا انه هيبقى في سبورت وكده يعني انا انبسطت قوي يعني اه اصل مره واحده يعني كان حلو بجد يعني المنظر كان حلو حتى البراكتس كان حلو يعني التريننج حلو هي كانت موجوده اصلا بس يعني بقت احلى وكده يعني عشان طبعا المدرسه وكده اه كانت حلوه يعني التجربه كانت حلوه بلعب في ساوث سودان اكاديمي بلعب جناح وبلعب سترايتر اصل حلمي العب في ريال مدريد كده كده انا هلعب ان شاء الله بشجع ريال مدريد ولاعب المفضل كريستيانو برغم ان هو مش موجود في ريال مدريد دلوقتي بس لسه بشجعه يعني بحب ريال مدريد كان بلعب جري وبقى الاول ده يعني لا ما كنتش بحبش الرياضه ما كنتش بعمل تمارين على الرياضه بس سديت المدرسه هنا الناس كانوا بيلعبوا رياضه فحبيت قلت مره اروح ادرب الرياضه فحبيتها كتير استمتعت فيها كنت بلعب كره في اكاديميه جنوب السودان ولعبت في اكاديميه علي النيل الرياضيه ونفسك تكمل في لعب الكوره؟ اه عايز تلعب فين؟ في نادي باريس عشان انا بشجع باريس عشان كده عايز العب فيه مين اكتر لعيب بتحب؟ اه كيليان امبابي امبابي بس امبابي رايح ريال مدريد ايوه لما نروح هتشجع ريال مدريد صحيح؟ لا عشان جاي باريس اه I love to play basketball because it makes my body to be good I have recently met Bain, uh, Bio, uh, James um, in Newton College and he started talking to me about how he wanted to change the, some futures of the kids in their schools because some of them don't have um, playgrounds to play in or places in which they could play safely 
and Bain came came out with uh, the idea of uh, starting something, a project for these kids, for them to have um, a better future someday. Most of them want to be players, play basketball, football, and he's giving them this chance. Some of them, they play in the streets, um, near garbage areas, because those places are literally big and they get to play there. And also, it's sad because the school doesn't provide such for them. So Bio came with the, with the alternative of making, of making something for them like that. For the kids, because when you go into the street, you see them, they want to be like the Egyptians. When they go for clubs, this kid does not have the opportunity to go for it. When they want to like, maybe it's not that they don't have the opportunity, but their parent does not have the phone. You know, some of them, they don't have the ability to fund this kid to club, to pay for the clubs, to, for them to go and train. When you see them, they just organize a team in the street and they play together. When you see all these things, and for us to be able to bring this into their life. This is good for the school because having them study alone without having a chance to make activities, it's not enough. But when we bring them to play, to run, some of them may not play official, maybe football or any activities, but just having them to run in this open space, I think this helps them and refresh even their mind to, to learn better. Sudanese, it's Sudanese, it's my summer, and I'm 13 years old. Basketball. I'm a big fan of the basketball team, and I'm a big fan of the people. I'm not a big fan of the basketball team. We don't have space for the students to explore. We don't have field. There's no playing area. So it's an activity for them to go out, to exercise. They have lots of energy. So to show their energy, their skills, their talents, and they are really enjoying it. I get to wake up early every day to come to Bain Sports Activity. I've lost some weight. I have met new friends. I have met people who I have never met before. We get to meet a lot of kids in so many schools, and some of them are very affectionate. So like, they get to be with us more. They get to speak with us, learn things from us, and we also learn from them because their happiness is our happiness as well. It changed my life because I don't see these kids before going through all this. Well, when I start this Bayern activity, I look, I see that this kid needs all this. Because when you look at them, when I see the joy in all these kids, I'm joyful too. And you know, sometimes you may think you know something, rather you don't know anything. And when you start seeing these kids like that, you start seeing them that when we go out, when you look at the community, you see that this kid does not have the privilege to have the opportunity to be on the pitch like this. But being creating it for them, I'm part of this Bayern. I'm really, really happy. I'm happy to coach here. This is what I love to do. I'm happy to, to engage the kids in games, the fun games, the basketball. Yeah, I'm happy the kids are able to learn something and they're able to, to do something in their free time. I, I love them, be, seeing them happy. When they are on the field, you know, I love to share them hope. Like, you know, you don't have to be sad. Once you are here, just have fun. So that's what it's all about. Because anytime I met the kids on the street, they usually call me, coach, when are we going for training? And I'm happy for them because you see the joy in their faces. They don't have planned for, for life before. But when you create, when we create this for them, it makes them to have focus again. Every time, like when we do our program, the kids remember me. They're like, hi, hey, they remember my name. And I was like, that's great. And also like when I find them outside the field, like in the church, in our community, the Sudanese community, some of the kids, the, yeah, they come up to me and, and greet me. It makes me to help people more. These kids need help. And in our community, we need people that can come together in helping these kids, in giving them what they need. Like, I'm going to see these kids putting spine on their face and why they play, why they sport. So it's, it imparted me in, in creating unity, love uh, amongst these children. They don't have that. So giving them that ability, you know, it's a great privilege for me as a person. I'm 
بيعمل حاجه كويسه بيعمل بيعمل فرحه للاطفال بيعمل سعاده والاطفال تكون مبسوطه وكده وغير ان انا اصلا انا حابب اتعامل مع مع النوع ده لان النوع ده انا شايفه بطريقه ثانيه يعني مش شايفه ك كلون ولا كلشاف شايفه بتعامل مع روح ما بتعاملش مع جنسيه ولا اي حاجه من شاد بس ابويا من نيجيريا جيت هنا مصر للدراسه في جامعه القاهره كليه التجاره وانا بدرب اطفال صغيرين ولسه مش معاهم فكره كويسه وانا الحمد لله معايا فكره في الكوره وادرب فيهم بس احيانا بدرب في البنات اكتر من الاولاد ما شاء الله فيهم بس عايزين ترين اكتر عشان هم شيك ضعيفين مش غاويين زي زي الاولاد في تالنت كتير في في الاطفال وعايزين نخوض كذا واحد كده وان شاء الله نشوف لهم انديه هنا في مصر ونشوف مستقبلهم ان شاء الله You know, you go home feeling that yes, oh yeah, I have accomplished something today that I have taught one kid something that he's going home today very happy. You know, it's it's a great job changing, affecting those kids' lives. You know, in a positive ways. Uh, my experience here in Egypt has been quite well. Like Egyptians are friendly, people are people, but. Speaking Arabic is not easy, but I get to learn. And the Egyptian food is amazing. I literally love food, so yeah, it has been amazing. And I've also visited places here in Egypt, such as Sharm El Sheikh, Dahab, and I have many other places that I wish to visit as well. Yeah, I came to Egypt to to learn and to work. I have other things I'm doing. Like I make clothes, I'm a fashion designer, and I also help the students with their sports activities. شيء جميل برضو وجودنا في المنطقة هنا نسبة إنه تقبل المصريين موجودين معنا في الأرياء. في كم فكرة إنه ننتقل من هنا ونروح التات تانية لكن كنا خايفين ما يحصلش قبول زي ما أو زي ما هو دلوقتي حاصل. الجيران اللي حوالينا متقبلين اللي زي عاد اللي اللي بينتج عن الأطفال. وكل الحاجات اللي بتحصل هم متقبلين ده فاحنا مرتاحين وجودنا مع 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 الجيران هنا في هذه المنطقه، بالنسبه للمجتمع المصري يعني كونك تلاقي مثلا عدد كبير من جنسيه معينه او جنسيات معينه موجوده معاك في اريا فانت ممكن تتساءل انه ايه اللي بيحصل وكده، لكن نيتنا ان نشوف قبول في وسط المجتمع المصري وكذلك انا بناشد مثلا الحكومه المصريه انه تعرف المجتمع المصري اكثر عن سبب وجود هذا العدد الكبير من اللاجئين في مصر. فاحنا عايزين نقعد هم يتقبلونا واحنا نتقبلهم ونعيش معاهم. بالنسبه لنا سكان سودانيين ثقافتنا متقاربه مع مع الثقافه المصريه فبنسمع كثير انه مثلا ودي حقيقه انه في تاريخ مشترك بيننا وبين المصريين فدي حاجه كويسه احنا بنفكر انه هذا التاريخ يكون سبب تلاقي والتحام وتسامح ونقدر نتعايش مع بعض ونتقبل بعض. Their life, they just need to be happy. They need um, they need the environment to explore, to show their talents, to show their skills, and I think that's what Bayern activity is providing for them. They have great talent. We have footballers. We have those that play lawn tennis. We have singers. They have so many dancers, so they can they have opportunity to to be great. It's not only about school. Yeah, really, uh, I want to say to Egyptian, uh, just to give us the this opportunity, even in, like uh, give us the, just one day in a week so that we can go and practice uh, sport. The school is not just for learning, uh, actually, but also for giving chance for people to introduce their skills and culture. معانا اطفال في المدرسه مش كلهم كويسين في القرايه والكتابه فهدفنا انه اذا مش قادرين يكملوا في في القرايه والكتابه ممكن يقدروا يكملوا في حاجه ثانيه زي الكره وبقيه المناشط الرياضيه فده اللي خلتنا انه نتعاون مع بي ان سبورت اكاديمي. So football we give them access but it it does not require your nationality so it's a one language 
football is one language, so they come together, they can do what they have, the same interest, the same goal. So when they come together, either you are Egyptian or Sudanese or Nigerian, anyone, so we can mix together and it helps them to connect more together. Because there are many areas, there are many groups, there are many groups, but from the whole world, people can connect, 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 people can connect. وفي كثير من المبادرات قامت قبل كده في في الماضي من خلال الرياضه مش من خلال حاجه ثانيه. المدرسه عمرها تقريبا 30 سنه ابتدينا بفصل صغير وبعد كده المدرسه ابتدت تكبر وتكبر دلوقتي عندنا حوالي 12 فصل وبنستضيف ما يقارب ال 300 طفل معانا في المدرسه لكن الغايه انه نبعد العيال على قد ما نقدر من الشارع ودي اللي خلتنا احنا نتعاون مع بيانا اكاديمي سبورت آه الهدف انه نبعد العيال من الشارع ونشغلهم بحاجات آه مفيده بحب العب كوره وبحب كمان سويمين سباحه وبحب الجو هنا والنجيله كمان مدربين كويسين بيدربونا كويس يعني ده اليوم المفضل ليا في المدرسه اسمي سامويل عندي 14 سنة وأنا مولود في مصر لكن رحت السودان وجيت وعشت هنا خلاص بلعب كرة أهو في بيان سبورت أكتيفيتيز وهو بنلعب كرة وكل يوم مع أصحابي وكنا بنلعب في السيارات وأكاديمية في الحي العاشي أكتر مدرب بحبه هو كابتن جيمس ما بحبش ولا إقناع ولا حاجة ولا إزعاج هو أحسن مدرب أنا بشوفه دلوقتي في بعد سبورت اكتيفيتيز مين النادي المفضل بتاعك؟ آه برشلونه برشلونه ريال مدريد؟ ها؟ ريال مدريد؟ لا ما بحبش ريال مدريد يا عم وانا واقف معاك هنا قلت لي ريال مدريد انا بحب برشلونه بتحب مين في برشلونه؟ بحب ديونج ونيستا وميسي I'm from South Sudan I like Egypt and I love the school and everything in it I love my friends My dad, my sisters, I love to play football and basketball. This kid needs caring. We need to care for them. There is no one caring for them. No one is looking after them. You see them on the streets, walking around without maybe their parents. We can't blame them sometimes because sometimes when you blame their parents, we don't really, really look down of what they are passing through because some of their parents will be at work looking for the ex-meat of what the children is going to eat and they don't have anybody to keep these children with. But like this sport and looking after these kids will make us to be able to shape their life in the way they should go. Because in all things, sometimes we blame parents for not looking after kids. But remember, the parents have like five, six children, and that time the parents are at work, no one to look after them. And these are the things these kids need. They need proper care looking after them, knowing what they are passing through. Most of them are passing through a lot of things and they cannot explain. That is why you see them on the street most times, a saying saying that what you don't have, you can't give. What their parents don't have, they can't give them. But the community can still give to them to be able to shape their destiny, to be able to shape their life. And that is one thing I, I think they need. <laughs>